Hi, I'm Ariana. And today I'm guiding you through a yoga stretch video targeting the hips. Let's get started. If you're not in a place where you can watch this video right now, please save to your watch later and join me whenever you can. Hi, yogis. Let's go ahead and get started with our workout or yoga sequence, yoga practice for today. So we're going to start with a yogi toe stretch. And we're, we're, you're going to tuck all 10 of your toes. So make sure your little pinky toes tucked as well. And just breathe into that sensation as we start to find flexibility, starting from our foundation up all the way into our hips. So toes are tucked. If that's too much sensation, always release and untuck your toes. But we can leave them tucked and find that Virasana stance. So warrior with our chest, like a string is lifting our sternum up to the ceiling, lift your heart and relax your shoulders by your sides. So like I said, you can keep your toes tucked or you can untuck them whenever you want. But we're gonna start with feeling into the wrists. So start to make little rolls, maybe figure eights back and forth with both wrists. Go both ways. And then interlace your fingers. Do the same thing, maybe slower little figure eights with your wrists. Go the other way. And untuck your toes if they're still tucked. So find that Virasana stance, lifted chest, shoulders relaxed, reach through the crown of the head to sit up a little bit taller. Then take your hands behind you and start to lift your knees off of the ground. So lift the knees up, find a stretch through the tops of your shins. So backs of the feet, backs of the legs, tops of the shins. And then we're gonna journey into a tabletop position. So you can tuck your toes or have them untucked now. And start to inhale, drop your belly, lift your heart. Exhale, bring your tailbone to the floor and bring your navel to the ceiling. Head is heavy. And we'll do some in our own breath as you inhale, drop the belly, lift the heart, roll the shoulders back, reach through the chest as you exhale, push away the earth, press through the feet, engage the core. Maybe bring some dynamic movement as you exhale, press your hips back towards your heels. As you inhale, bend your elbows, draw your heart forward between your hands. Moving into some spinal flexion and extension. Maybe as you exhale, draw your crown of your head towards your sits bones. As you inhale, reach the crown of your head toward the ceiling. And any other movement that feels good, maybe rocking side to side, maybe looking back at your hips, taking a breath. Maybe protracting and retracting your shoulders. And wherever you land, stay there for another inhale and then use an exhale, sit back into a child's pose. So knees are about hips width distance apart. Hips go back towards your heels. Then walk your hands forward. If you want a deeper stretch, you can bring your knees farther apart. Tuck your chin and bring your forehead to the mat. Then take a breath here. Maybe tint your fingers. So lift your palms off of the ground and press in with your fingertips. And slowly roll back up. And we're gonna find Dandasana, Dandasana. So staff pose. Legs will come out in front of you. Sit up tall. And bring your legs apart. Wide-legged forward fold. Flex your feet. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold forward. So forward folds are really good for coming into yourself and they're good for winding down. 
It's a pretty good adductor and hamstring stretch. And so you find that fold, you have a neutral spine until your body just starts to round on its own. Then let your head be heavy. And in your own in your own breath, you're going to scoop your navel up into your spine and engage your core, help your body roll up into a seated position. Neutral spine, so in between cat and cow. Heart lifted. Bring your legs together once more. And then you're going to bend your right knee. So there are multiple places and variations of this pose, multi multiple places to get off at and stay put at. So your right foot can be in line with your left leg or your right foot can cross over your left leg. Your chest will be lifted and you're gonna reach through the crown of your head, take an inhale, lift up. Exhale, draw your right knee a little bit closer towards you. And then slowly lift your right hip. Place your left foot by your right sits bone. So grow tall through the crown of your head. And if this is good for you, stay here. If both of your sits bones aren't, aren't planted, please return to that one leg out. Or come into the full pose, Marichi Asana. Inhale, extend. And exhale, engage the core. And you're going to find a twist to the right. So left hand can wrap around your right thigh. Right hand can hover or be planted behind you. Roll the shoulders back. Inhale, reach through the crown of the head. And exhale, engage the core. Twist a little bit deeper or stay here. Take another inhale. And return center. So counter twist. Hug your right hand to your right leg. Inhale, open up to the left. Exhale, return center. And gently unwind into a Figure four, but lifted. So you can rock your hips side to side. Maybe scoot your hips closer to your heel. Keep that left, or keep that right foot flexed. And breathe into tight space. And we'll slowly release into that Dandasana. Pose, do pancake legs, so rock your legs side to side, jelly legs, and then bring your left knee into your chest. So stay here if you want for the, for the twist, or take your left foot and place it on the outside of your right thigh. Sit up tall here, press into the ground, and you're going to sweep your right foot by your left hip. And so you're going to find your axial spine neutral. Reach up, take an inhale. And exhale, take your right hand and hug your left thigh. Take your left hand, sweep it behind you. You can hover it or you can lower it down. Inhale, lengthen through the crown of the head. Exhale, engage the core. And stay here or twist a little bit deeper. Then return to the front. Take your left hand, bring it to your left thigh. Inhale, open up to the right. And exhale. Uncross your legs. And 90-90. Oh, actually do that figure four on the other side. Really quickly. Springing your hips closer 
to your heel if that feels good. Breathe into tight space. And then slowly uncross. Bring your feet out about more than shoulders width distance apart. And then 90-90, drop your knees to either side of the mat. Do that an even amount of times on both sides or whatever feels good in your body. And then bring your knees straight up, tracking into space. And then drop your knees to either side. So knees will track to either side of the room. And you're finding a bound angle pose or Baddha Konasana. We still want that neutral spine lifted. And you'll take an inhale, lengthen. Exhale, relax the shoulders. Grab onto your feet, make a basket with your hands, or grab onto your shins. First, let's flap our butterfly wings. So knees start to lift and lower. Maybe engage your glutes while you do that, helping your knees lift. And then set up tall, set up tall once more, neutral spine. And you're gonna lead with your chin as you hinge forward at your hips. So if you need to have your legs out farther, you can. Or if you want them closer, you can do that as well. But we're gonna take an inhale to lengthen and an exhale to hinge forward. So lead with your chin as you bend forward, bow forward. We're not bending in our back here, we're hinging at our hips. So wherever that ends for us, that's fine. That's where we're at today. So starting here, take an inhale, lengthen. Exhale, hinge forward, lead with your chin, and try to bring your chest over your toes. So keep reaching your knees down if you want. Keep, keep the leverage with your hands on your shins or on the ridges of your feet. And keep reaching your chest forward. Keep reaching, keep pointing through your chin to keep your spine long, your neck long, the front and the back. Take another inhale to lengthen, exhale, hinge forward a little bit more. And slowly come up, neutral spine. This time we will round forward. So knees can become more bent feet can get closer to you if you want here and then find that cat position with your spine so flexion navel into your spine engage tuck your chin and then slowly bring your nose to your toes you can use your forearms for leverage just to maybe create some more space Keep rounding out your back, finding flexion in this cat position in Baddha Konasana, bound angle. Take another breath, draw the shoulders back. And then lift up center once more. Bring your knees together and walk your sits bones up your mat so there's room for your back behind you. You're gonna balance on your sits bones. So if you need to move your blessings out of the way, go ahead. Lifted spine, lifted chest, like in that Virasana pose that we did earlier. And then start to sit back. You can balance your heels off of the ground. Reach through both of your hands. Palms can face each other. And slowly lower down. Find a low boat. So maybe seal your back and then lower your heels and your shoulders to the floor. Bend both of your knees. Another windshield wipe, so knees fall left, knees fall right. Back and forth, maybe four times. Come back in center, back up center 
and give your knees a hug into your armpits. So knees into your armpits and then bring your big toes together. Slowly start to draw little circles, little circles with both of your kneecaps and go both ways, go in opposite directions. And then hug your knees back into your armpits or, you know, go past your armpits. You can bring your big toes apart now if you want. And just keep pressing your knees down. Press your sits bones towards the ground too to lengthen through your low back. And breathe into tight space. And also breathe into your belly. Breathe into your hips. You're going to keep your right knee in. Straighten your left leg out to the ground. Interlace your fingers behind your shin and press your shin into your hands. Take an inhale. And exhale, draw your right knee over to the left side of the mat. And you can reach your right hand over to your right side. So you can look up or you can look to the right. And just let your knee fall with gravity. We'd rather have our knee touch than our shoulder if we have to choose. And slowly return center. Draw that knee back into your armpit. Give it one more hug. Keep that left heel planted or bend your left knee. And then take a morning stretch. So reach your fingertips and your toes away from each other. And inhale, exhale, draw your left knee into your armpit. Give it a hug. And interlace your fingers behind your shin if they're not already there. Press your shin into your hands. Take an inhale. Exhale, knee into your chest and draw it over to the right side of the room. Let your knee plant completely. Reach your left hand out long. Look up, look over your left shoulder, whatever works for you today in your body. And gently unwind. Give your knee one more hug. And then take your left ankle, place it on top of your right knee. Rock your hips side to side a few times. And then have your right ankle planted underneath your right knee or, you know, as close as you, you can measure or you want it to be. And then press your right heel into the ground. Lift your hips off of the ground. Engage your glutes. Press your left knee down. Find a figure four bridge. And we'll lower your hips back down. Lift your right foot off of the ground. Find a active figure four. So active figure four. Press your knee towards you, left knee away from you. Breathe into your sacrum, your outer hips. Breathe into your belly, your back. And slowly lower. One more twist here. We're going to take our hips, bump them over to the left and let our left foot fall to the right side of the room. If this isn't comfortable for you, for you, take the same twist that we took earlier. And you can reach your hands out into a T and look past your left shoulder. And gently return to center, unwind. Release your left foot. Bring your hips back to center. Take another morning stretch. And then bend both knees. 
place your right ankle on top of your left thigh. So we keep our right foot flexed. Take your left heel and you want it as close as you can get it underneath your left knee, whatever feels good. And you'll rock your hips side to side, then squeeze your glutes and lift your hips up into a figure four bridge. So palms can press into the earth, press your right knee, right knee down. Open up your hips, hip flexors, and then lower back down. And you can keep that figure four stance. Rock your hips side to side once more before lifting up into that active figure four. So keep your front foot flexed, take pressure off of your knee, and breathe into tight space. Maybe rock around if you want, feel into, feel into your breath and feel it create space in tight spaces like your hips, your legs maybe, your low back even. And you'll lower back down and bump your hips over to the right. Tee out your arms and then drop your right foot over to the left. Do the same stretch we did earlier if that feels better on your body. Breathe into tight space, create new space. And then return center. So unwind both feet. Bring both knees into your chest and you can grab onto your shins. You can grab onto the outer ridges of your feet. So many choices. You can grab onto your inner arches. You can grab onto your big toes with your two piece fingers. So whatever you choose, start to play with some movement here. Straighten one leg, bend the other. Rock your hips side to side and relax the muscles in your face, your jaw, the muscles around your neck and just embody a happy baby, envision a happy baby, being one, smiling and just rolling around, being happy before entering Shavasana our final resting pose of the practice. So once you find Shavasana, spread out wide, take up space, or bring one hand to your belly, one hand to your heart. Close your eyes, bring a focus on your breath, and stay here for as long as you need. And Stay here for as long as you need. I hope to see you at our next practice. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. If you like the outfit that I wore in today's video, make sure you check out the shelf below to purchase one for yourself. And don't forget to check out the next video of my series. Bye. Introducing Yoga Plus, offering a free series every month with over 300 different videos. Take control of your health. Work out anytime, anywhere. Yoga Plus. Download now for free.